I'm sure if you have been running Facebook ads, you would have seen a notification, something like this for the Facebook pixels, uh, where it says all domains need to be associated with a pixel event pair and an ad. Okay. And also it says your pixel event was not associated with, with any domains. Uh, ads without domains will be paused once Apple begins enforcing their new iOS 14 requirement. So that means uh, we need to first add the domain and we need to verify the domain so that your pixel starts running fine like earlier. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you that in two simple steps, how to do that. First is uh, adding the domain and second is how to verify the domain. So make sure you're going to watch till the end so that you don't miss any of it. So the first thing is we got to add the domain. So let me tell you how to add the domain first. Uh, go to Facebook business manager. Okay. Once you go to Facebook business manager, let me select the business manager here. You'd see something like this. See the first step is for us to add the domain. Okay. Uh, once you are in the screen, okay, just click on business settings. So once you go to business settings, you see there are a lot of uh, options that are there. Now for us to add the domain, we got to go to brand safety. Just click on brand safety and then click on domains. Now you could see that uh, in this section, you see there is an option to add a domain. Okay. Or you can verify a domain if you already added it. Now let me just uh, show you how to add a domain if you have not already added it. Just click on add. Enter the domain. Say for example, I'm going to add uh, srirambenur.com. Okay. So I'm just going to click on add domain. So now that domain is also added and uh, it's not verified. So you are seeing this uh, uh, red status which says not verified. Okay. Only after verifying it is going to turn to green. Now let me tell you how to verify this. Okay. So, uh, let me take for an example of uh, digitalachievershub.com. So I'm going to uh, show you how to verify this. So there are uh, three ways to verify what uh, Facebook has mentioned. One is DNS verification. Second is HTML file upload. And third is meta tag verification. Okay. So now that we are completed with uh, adding a domain here. Now let's move to the second step of verifying the domain. Okay. So the most easiest way to do it is uh, by adding the meta tag verification. Okay. So this is the one of the most easiest thing to do. So let me show you this first and second I'm going to show you using the DNS verification and HTML file upload is something if you are having the access to you, the server and other things you should be able to do that as well. So meta tag verification. So for that uh, let me just uh, connect to my website. Uh, so I have just uh, logged into my uh, WordPress uh, account. So it's digitalachievershub.com. So I have just logged in there. Once you log in, this is how you will be able to see uh, if you are using a WordPress. Okay. Now let me just quickly scroll down appearance. Okay. So go to appearance. In that we have some something called as theme editor. We need to go to theme editor. So let's go to theme editor. Once we do that, just scroll down and on the right side, you see something called as theme files. Just scroll down and you should be able to see a file called as header.php. Okay. So just click on that. Once you do, do that, the header.php uh, file has been loaded. And uh, if I can just scroll down, you see the head tag that is ending here. Okay. So one important thing is you got to make sure that, okay, you are adding before this tag. So just hit a couple of enters here. So once you do that, uh, go to uh, business settings uh, and copy the meta tag that is there. Just click on that and it says copy to the clipboard clipboard. Okay. So, and it clearly says add this meta tag to the head section in the HTML of your domain homepage. Okay. Confirm that the meta tag is visible by visiting uh, okay, and viewing it in the source. So click verify. Now let me just go back to uh, the WordPress. Let me just quickly paste this. Okay. And I'm going to hit update file. 
so it says file edited successfully okay now let's go back to business settings and click on verify so now this time it should actually verify it and it should be showing in green let's see that so it says domain verification failed that means still it's not reflecting there okay so domain verification failed unable to verify the domain so let me just quickly see if everything has been saved so the file has been updated so sometimes it might take a couple of minutes so let me just go to digitalachievershub.com and see if that uh, tag is actually reflecting in the website so how you can verify is just uh, right click on that and click on view page source okay once you do that just click on control f and search facebook so i could see that uh, meta name facebook domain verification uh, this is already present so that means it should actually verify right now so let me just click on verify again now it says digitalachievershub.com is verified done okay so let me just quickly refresh this now they should show in green okay now you can see that digitalachievershub.com is showing in green now the other method is where uh, you can do the same thing by uh, adding a by doing a dns verification okay so it says a dns text record to be added now the thing with this is this will actually take a bit longer time the fastest uh, are these two methods html file upload and meta tag verification these are really fast and uh, once you add the tag you will be able to instantly verify but however with this there might be a delay of up to uh, 72 hours is what they say if you go with dns verification so i always recommend that okay uh, first preference is meta tag verification second is something that you can go for html file upload if not then go for dns verification now let me do uh, dns verification and show you how to do that i've just uh, logged into my bluehost uh, portal once you go to whichever service provider that you are using either it could be godaddy or bluehost or whatever it could be just go to that and you should see something called as domains just click on domains and uh, you could see all the domains that are there just click on manage once you click on manage you just have to scroll down and you will be able to see something like um, text okay so this is the uh, thing what you'll be able to say, see and it says add record just click on add record once you do that it asks for host record so let me just go back to uh, facebook business manager now here it says log into your domain register and visit the dns uh, record section so we are there right now add this text record in your dns configuration so we need to add this so let me just click on that so it's copied right now and it says add it in the host field if it is required now if i go here so host record so just uh, add at symbol here and text value just enter this okay once you do that so just uh, ttl leave it as uh, as it is that is there and just click on save once you do that uh, you're all set and uh, your account is good to be verified so as they have indicated it's going to take at least 72 it, it might take up to 72 hours for them to verify this okay so that's how uh, you add a domain and verify a domain so that you can start running pixels again okay so see you in the next video thanks for watching